the Omaha baseball team was 6-0 in conference play, heading into its three-game series with Western Illinois this weekend. The Mavericks won Game 1, and were looking to win both games of a Sunday doubleheader to stay perfect in Summit League play. Peyton Kinney took the mound and delivered seven shutout innings in Game 1. After missing last year due to injury, Kinney has led the Mavericks with a 5-0 record and a Summit League leading .55 ERA. Yeah, Peyton Kinney was he was brilliant today with seven innings of work. He only gave up one hit. He didn't get credited with the win because Tyler Doherty gave up two runs and it led to the tie 2-2 game. But otherwise, uh, Peyton Kinney was really brilliant today. He got the job done. Heading into the ninth inning of game one, the game was tied 2-2. But Matt Bonnerchuk had a walk-off single to give the Mavs the win heading into the last game of the series. Omaha then won the final game of the series in just eight innings as they run ruled the Leathernecks 15 to five. We're playing well. I mean, we're swinging the bat well. Pitchers is doing a heck of a job on the mound, you know, getting ahead and counts, throwing strikes, uh, breaking off some good two strike pitches and uh, defense is playing well behind them. Omaha is now nine and zero in Summit League play, which puts them at first place in front of South Dakota State in the conference. Well, the Mavericks stay red hot on offense as they scored 26 runs last weekend and then 15 on Sunday. They will look to continue their hot offensive stretch as they play Creighton at Warner Park next Wednesday. It's like hitting is contagious, you know? So like if first, first, two, guys, ah. <laughs> first two guys in the inning get on, uh, you know, uh, people right behind them are to come up with a lot of confidence and know that all they gotta do is put a ball in play and we'll find a way to score. And so just, we just kind of feed off each other with the hitting and one guy gets hot, the rest of us like to go off that. The Mavs will travel to South Dakota State next weekend for a three game series.